I began riding a bike when I was three and I graduated from training wheels at age five. Then at age 13, I discovered the sport of mountain biking and I watched my first cross-country mountain biking race at the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Later that week, I had my first mountain bike ride and I was hooked. Hi, I'm Brad, I'm a passionate mountain biker and volunteer trail builder from the Gold Coast. It doesn't matter the week you've had or whatever you've got going on in your head, assignments, work, life, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. When you're on a ride, you forget about all of that. And for me, that's awesome. And for that one, two or three hour ride, you're surrounded by nature. Sometimes alone, sometimes with friends, and sometimes with kangaroos and koalas. No matter who you're with, how you're riding, if you've crashed, you're having fun. Just adrenaline and stoke for finally hitting that jump. Mountain biking has given me a lot of things. It's taken me to remote places that very few people get to see. It's made me friends, both young and old. It's allowed me to find a rewarding way to volunteer my time, where a job as simple as clearing a drain or creating a fun little trail feature have, plays a huge impact on thousands of riders that'll ride that trail. It's allowed me to experience such a unique but awesome community. I think very rarely do you find a sport where everyone says hi to almost every person they come across. That for me really highlights the community aspects of mountain biking. Everyone's looking out for each other, whether it'll be helping you write a feature, assisting you with a on-trail bike repair, or just volunteering to maintain the trails that we all love. No matter if you're riding for the jumps, the fitness, the social aspect, or it's just your first time, everyone is so welcoming and non-judgmental, mainly because they're happy that you're able to enjoy the sport that they love. And some of the most enjoyable rides are those with new people on something like a social ride hosted by a local mountain bike club. And then we have mountain bike racing, which takes the fun and community aspects to a whole new level. For me, I remember very early into my mountain biking journey, I veered off the trail and crashed into a tree. Uh, luckily, I wasn't going fast and I escaped mostly unscathed, but at that moment, I remember shouting, this sucks. I give up. I don't want to do this anymore. 10 minutes later, I was back on the bike having fun. I may not have realized it then, but I know why I kept going. Yes, you will crash and it's both a physical and emotional roller coaster, but it doesn't mean you stop. Every feature has its risk and reward. You just need to figure out if it's worth it. Because the harsh reality is that if you start being reckless, it only takes one crash for it to go horribly wrong. Whether it lasts a week, a month, a couple of months, or forever, I'm not willing to take that chance. For beginners or anyone undecisive about getting into the sport, my advice would be to start it easy and slow. It'll be fun and exciting, yet nerve wracking and terrifying all at the same time. But I can promise you that it gets easier and more fun with time especially when you have a community that'll rally behind you. And then you'll be like me, hooked. Hooked to travel to that place new, to do that extra ride, to ride that new feature. It's now four years on, I've had three new bikes, spent way too much money maintaining them, 
and had my fair share of crashes. But I couldn't imagine it any other way. Because there's truly nothing better than shredding down a trail, blasting some music, and escaping from reality.